Hello, I'm Robbie Britton, producer of the Appalachian Regional Mobile DJ Symposium. And I want to take a moment to say thank you. Thank you to everybody that's took a little time out of their busy schedule during the summer. June is a busy month. For most of us, we're doing the weddings and stuff. Even for me, it's, it's definitely a busy time of the year. But you take a little moment, a little few days out of the week, to come to East Tennessee and participate in this wonderful event, this wonderful little experiment we call RMDJs. And I, I definitely I want to thank everybody from the bottom of my heart for taking part of this event and, and coming on out and seeing what's going on. Charlie Tremendous Jones once said something along the lines of the difference between you now and you five years ago is the people you've met and the books you've read. And that's been one of the great things about RMDJs is all the wonderful people you get to meet and network with. And another thing, uh, another wonderful quote I heard was uh, find something personal and do something memorable. That's actually a quote from Jeffrey Gittimer who's actually going to be this year's, this next year's keynote speaker. Now, Jeffrey, I don't know if you guys remember, for those of you who have been around since the first Arm DJs, I got on stage and actually made the promise that I, my goal was to bring Jeffrey Gittimer to Arm DJs. And I had every intention of bringing him the next year. That didn't quite work out. As we know, the economy changed a little bit about five years ago. But working hard and building up the, 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 uh, the, the attendance and the interaction with the, uh, the conference, I've managed to get to the point now that uh, I've secured Jeffrey Gittimer to speak at RMDJ 6.0. Now, for those of you that don't know who Jer Jeff Jeffrey Gittimer is, he's wrote a few books, and I've got a couple of those here. He's wrote a book called Social Boom. That's like his latest book. He's also wrote a book called uh, Little Red Book, or see, yeah, the Little Red Book on Sales and the uh, Sales Bible. Now, for those of you that attended this last year, I gave everybody a copy of this book and to take home with them. To me, I think this is like Business 101. If you're in business, you need to have this book. So Jeffrey Gittimer, I think, is going to add a lot to this event. Now, about his quote. When uh, the quote that said, find something personal, do something memorable. I heard him say that in, uh, at a, uh, uh, an event he was speaking at in Charlotte, North Carolina. And I wrote it down. I had to immediately write it down. And it's, it's, it's something that spoke well to me. It, it's, you know, find something that's, uh, that, um, that somebody's got a passion for, something somebody's interested in, and then do something that they're going to remember and stuff like that. And a good example of that is actually the shirt I have on. Some DJs got together and they actually told me not to mention any names. But we had some DJs that have 10 RMDJs over the last few years. They all got together and they, they had these shirts made up. And this is the front of the shirt. And you can see the squirrel. I'll tell you a little, little bit more about the squirrel here in a minute. And then you got the back of the shirt. It has that like rock and roll kind of look with the classic mic and everything like that. But the, they actually made these, without me knowing, made these t-shirts and uh, just presented them to me right before the conference said, here, these are yours, sell them at the event. And, you know, it's one thing to have the shirt, you know, something to sell, all that stuff. But it meant a lot to me that these guys, just they, they found something with this conference and me doing this conference. They wanted to make something that they knew I would appreciate. And that was having something that people could take home with them to remember this event. And I greatly appreciate you guys for that. And you know who you guys are. And thank you. Thank you very much. Another thing that was kind of cool this last year that was something personal, do something memorable, was uh, Wes down in uh, Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, Every time I've ever chat with him online or talked to him or anything like that, I've always joked about him being from Memphis, bring me some ribs if you're ever in East Tennessee. Well, guess what? He came to the conference this year, and what did he bring? He brought me a big old huge rack of ribs from uh, Corky's. And uh, so I put those aside, saved those after the conference, everything was said and done, and uh, I had me a, I cooked me a big old rack of ribs and just kind of sat back and relaxed a little bit to, to celebrate the, this year's uh, conference. So thank you, Wes, for doing that. I mean, it, it just, it means, it just, it, it it's awesome, thank you. Now another cool thing that happened, now we're going to get to the squirrel story. For those of you that don't know, a couple years ago at RMDJ's uh, 4.0 in Johnson City, Tennessee, we had a squirrel attack the conference. It was day two, the day that Michael Port was going to speak, and the power went off that morning. Rick Brewer was on the stage and he's doing his thing with his new presentation and got the PowerPoint and everything going, power goes off. Um, quick as the lights, the emergency lights came on, Rick, being the professional that he is, took off his jacket and said, all right, guys, it's time to get to work, and just started rolling with his uh, presentation without any PowerPoint or anything, no amplification, and nobody got up. Everybody stayed there and stayed interested. Behind the scenes, we're scrambling, trying to figure out what's going on, and we found out a squirrel took out the power. Now, the uh, John City uh, power, uh, power, um, uh, power Board, Power Company, whatever you want to call it, that within a couple hours, they had their power back going. And uh, as luck would have it, we had some generators to uh, access to some generators that we plugged up, and we managed to get things going and keep things rolling. Everybody was troopers about it. You know, I mean, things like that happened, but we didn't miss a beat. I mean, nobody, nobody, we just didn't, we didn't miss a beat. Everything kept rolling. 
So it was, it was a little trying experience, but everybody made fun of that. It kind of became kind of the mascot for Arm DJs, this little squirrel. Well, Kelly Farmer down in Nashville, Tennessee, uh, this year, without me knowing about it, showed up, guess what? <laughs> in a squirrel costume from out of nowhere. Uh, Patrick Henry is getting ready to speak, and here comes Kelly. And uh, he had his squirrel costume on, and later I think some people took some pictures with him and stuff like that. But it's people seeing those opportunities and doing something personal, or doing something memorable when they find something personal. And, and that's a lesson I think we can all take from this, is whoever you are with your vendors, your people you network with in your area, find something personal, do something memorable. Uh, if you're going to a bridal show and it's somebody's birthday, go get a card and have everybody sign it. You know, one of the vendors, if it happens to be one of the vendors' birthdays. That, I actually did that once and it meant a lot to her. But just do, do those little things. Always seek. And with Facebook and Twitter, it's so easy to find those little personal things, things that are people really into, so you can do something that's going to be memorable. Again, I want to thank everybody for that's attended the RMDJs over the last few years. And uh, here's to next year's event, RMDJs 6.0. I'll put the information right here with the date and every, all the information on the website. You can go get your pass if you haven't got a pass. And be on the lookout. We're going to have a uh, promotion coming up like real, real soon. I'm going to be launching that here just any day now. Again, thank you very much and hope to see you at RMDJs 6.0.